Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're actually watching this. Today we're talking about 2024 film called The Snack Shack that's recorded in Nebraska City, 1991. The story or the film is about two best friends, really, inseparable buddies, uh, AJ and Moose, who, who come up with the most uh, lucrative business ideas to date. First, these guys, uh, I'm about to spoil it, so I apologize. First, these guys uh, go on a betting wreck and bet on a, on a dog racing. Yeah, dog racing. Um, and they win. They do a, a whole lot of schemes. They got their own beer called Real Beer. They make it themselves. These men are entrepreneurs. Bear in mind, these guys are 15, bro. They're 15. And they're doing the most. They're, they're, they're absolutely doing the most. They're, they're absolutely incredible. They're doing everything that needs to be done by brothers who want to succeed in life. In comes Brooke. This is a, a, a girl who happens to be a cousin to a girl who lives next to AJ. And AJ is madly infatuated by this girl. And for some weird reason, Moose is too. Because she's gorgeous. So, AJ is a little, you know, timid a bit. So, he doesn't make a move whatsoever. He pretty much puts himself in a horrible friend zone. And Moose sees this girl for the first time and he makes the moves on him. Gets the second base at most. Kisses her, touches her boob. It's all great. Moose sees this and he's enraged. He's pissed. But then again, bro, you never actually told bro that you actually liked the girl. So, uh, it makes it weird there. Anyway, long story short, after a while, this girl says, Brooke, that is, says, AJ... I actually like you more. I'm more infatuated by you. I want you. I want this other nigga. She didn't say this other nigga, but you get my point. Anyway, this girl puts a dent in their business, in their progress. I mean, like, since the moment this girl came into the scenes, this guy's business have been has been going downhill. Which basically says women will fuck you over. If you've got a business plan with your buddies, they will fuck it over. I always say, respect the bro code. If the bro code says, if a girl is like in love with one of y'all. If a girl is in love with one of y'all, or you guys are in love with a girl. Both of you, obviously one of you loves the girl more than the other. It's always a given. But... If let's just, for argument's sake, let's say the girl, you love the girl equally. Let the girl decide. Just go up to her, two of you, and just say, Shardy, who do you want to be with? Let her choose. Now, it's going to be painful, but let her choose. Or, do what I'd say. Fuck the bitch. Forget her, man. If a bitch is going to mess up your paper stacks, she ain't worth it. She's supposed to add on to your paper stacks. But if she ain't adding on to your money, bro, you don't need her. You don't need her. She is just a liability, and you don't need liabilities. You need assets, my brother, if we're talking paper stacks. Anyway, this girl smooching with both of these niggas. She went to second base with this dude. She almost went to first base with JJ. And then AJ's dad showed up, ruining this shit. This nigga had an opportunity to get laid to a girl who's about to leave for Germany. And... AJ's dad walks into this guy's room. He's about to smash my dude. Girl asks for a condom and everything. He's getting it. He's getting them cheeks. And his dad walks in. And he's... Usually he'd be yelling, but he ain't yelling. He's... Sad a little. He says... Your buddy, man. Shane died in a car accident. And my dude is like, I broke I'm like, why? And I don't even know why. My question is, why did Shane have to die for these two niggas to hang out? Why, though? Adam Rimmer, I think I'm reading that name right. Um, why, why? Why, my dude? You killed this young man. You did it. He killed this young dude so that these two best friends, uh, Moose and AJ, could be friends again. Why? I don't know why. Was his death necessary for them to be buddies again? I don't know why. Maybe, maybe not. Because these boys were not even talking. These boys run into each other at a grocery store with their mothers. Didn't say a goddamn word to each other. Until one of the mothers spilled the beans. And was like, do you guys have a fight at your sleepover? Only to find out AJ never even went to Moose's house. 
He was with Shane drinking alcohol. When I realized this movie came out March 15th, a very long time. And I realized I only watched it because I was scrolling on YouTube shorts and I came across an incredible scene. It's a scene where these dudes, I think it was a trailer, I don't know. Where these dudes literally, where AJ literally put money on the table in front of his father. He put money on the table. He said, you said I was a deadbeat. Well, here's some money. I made this some money and I made this some money. And he gave him tickets to a show. His parents were... Dumbfound. They had no words for this kid. They were like, oh my god, your son is the shit. They were proud. This film is really good. Like, super low budget. One thing's for sure. And it's like early 90s, 91, it's setting. So it's really good on that regard. It's a really good film. It's a very, it's a pleasant surprise. And I think this is a this is a great movie. Of course, there's plenty of cursing in this. It's like real people trying to figure out life. You know, teenagers. There's no Grinch sex, sex scenes and no nudity. These are just young acting newcomers. And it's it's honest. I feel like the film is very honest. There's no extra shit to it. These are 15 year olds who's just trying to make a quick buck so they can have fun when school comes up. That's all they're doing, fam. And I love to say this. This is a great film, man. It's a great film. And when you think about it, has a budget. It was made with a budget of under five million. I don't know how much money it made, but it's getting five stars out of me. This was absolutely incredible. It's a timeless mix. Mixed with nostalgia, reality. And many of us loved, you know, the whole 90s and shit movie vibe. And I think this is just shit, man. This is the shit. This movie's really good. I'm just, I'm just a little pissed that they killed Shane in order to make the boys, you know, be friends again, but I feel like this is the movie that we need. No gimmicks. No nothing, no whistles, no bells. Just a thoughtful film made hilarious, charming, caring for real humans by real humans. It's just raw emotion came out when I watched this. And when you sit there and watch it, you just know that one mistake, fam. One mistake. One little uh, scene. You know, you can see your brother, you can see your best friend in the afternoon, in the morning. And he's like, I'll be back in an hour, fam. And he's dead. Car accident. Gone. And it makes you really look at life like, this is my best friend. That's my buddy there. We shouldn't be fighting over dumb shit. And that's when you realize the important things in life. Friendship, love, adoration, uh, growing together, being there. Once you throw away all the nonsense about two friends fighting over a girl, and you realize these boys are brothers. These boys are brothers. Brothers from another mother and father, but they're brothers. And their bond is significant. Their bond is timeless. Their bond is surreal. And their bond almost perished. All because of a woman. And I'm not saying women shouldn't be in your life in order for you to progress. And I'm just feeling like that's how I felt while watching it. The whole time I was like, man, this girl is trash. And when she was with her brother and AJ thought she was cheating on him or something like that. I was like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew this woman. This girl was nothing. Why would you be kissing my best friend? And then a day later, you're kissing me. That's some whole shit. But really, it's not. It's a 16-year-old, 15-year-old girl. Trying to figure out life. And these boys are trying to figure out life. Being entrepreneurs. Being business owners. Making a buck. Doing what shouldn't be done by teens. They should be out there playing video games. But this is the 90s baby. This is the age of living. These boys were living. They went out on bikes. 
They drank alcohol. They had fun. Now, today, society, they don't know what fun is. All they want to do is, I actually am doing what, what they all want to do. I mean, I'm old, so I got an excuse. I got a job. So I, I, I've earned the right to play video games all day <laughs> and watch movies when I'm free. I've earned that right. But some of your kids need to read, need to study, need to do all the necessary shit not to be a deadbeat digger in the future. So, I say this is a good movie. It made, made me want to call one of my buddies in back in the day and be like, Yo, bro, I missed you. What's up? Yeah, I should probably do that. Yep, I should probably do that. Call one of my homies and be like, bro, it's been a while, I know, but we should definitely hang out, man. Sometime. Because this movie itself was a breath of fresh air. I loved it. Loved every bit of it. I loved it. Yeah, I, it was an emotional roller coaster for me, personally. I felt like at one moment, I was really proud of these boys. They were making dough, being businessmen, being inventive. Who creates a beer, man? Who creates a beer when they're 15 years old? That's fucking incredible. Who starts a business after being ripped off? I mean, like, these boys went to an auction to, 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 to rent or buy this place. And it was 300 bucks, the opening bid, the only bid. They showed up with a suitcase of money. 3,000. They won the bid. A bid they could have won with 500. Because some college dudes told them the bid would be like 3,000. They wanted the kids not to bid for it. But unbeknownst to them, these boys are so good, they made 3,000. 3, bid for the place, won the place. And then within a week or two, they made their money back. So, it's a win-win. These boys were hard work. Well, they, they are hard working. This was a good movie. I recommend anyone and everyone to watch this movie. I mean, like, this is a really, really, really good movie. You should watch it. Snack Shack. The Adventures of AJ and the Moose. In a love triangle with this beautiful girl they met called... You guessed it. What's her name again? Oh, my God. I forgot her name. What's her name again? What's her name again? Well, this is embarrassing. Brooke. <laughs> Alright, let's do that again. The 2000 filmed or based or setting. Its setting is... Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang